Hi, I'm Suzanne Jarrett and I'm the chair for the Brighton Hove Maternity Voices Partnership. I've been chairing for approximately seven years now um, and we cover the uh, Brighton Sussex University Hospital Trust on the Brighton Hove site at Royal Sussex County Hospital. Hi, I'm Emma, the chair of Western Sussex Maternity Voices Partnership covering St Richard's Hospital in Chichester and Worthing Hospital. Um, the MVP in Western has been was soft launched in January last year and I successfully took on the role of chair in um, April, so um, we're a year old now. Um, and I've been amazed by the engagement we've seen from both service users and service providers and it's been a true privilege to be in the role. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm the chair of the Mid Sussex Maternity Voices Partnership. Um, I'm mum of two boys who are aged six and two, and I gave birth at the Princess Royal Hospital in Haywards Heath. And I've been involved um, in the Maternity Voices Partnership since 2017. Hi, I'm Richard. Um, I'm the co chair of the Sussex Maternity Voices Partnership. Um, our patch uh, has two sites, the Conquest Hospital where the obstetric unit is and then at Eastbourne there's a midwife led unit. And I've, I've been involved in supporting maternity services many years but um, Maternity Voices Partnerships exist for three years so I've been co-chair of this for three years and our other co-chair is a mum who herself has four children and her youngest is only two years old. Uh, we wanted to give you in, some insight into how we've been working together to ensure your voices are heard. We all feel passionately about ensuring those who use maternity services are able to share their experiences and work together with the local services to help make them the best they can be. During these uncertain times, this feels more important than ever. Guidance is changing all the time. Those providing the maternity services have to make very difficult decisions to ensure safe and high quality care for you and to protect their colleagues. So we're working with them to ensure some consistency across Sussex, both in the decisions that are being made and also how they are communicated to you. And we may even question some of the decisions that, that are made to make sure that they are focused on both safety for, for staff, but also for the users as well. And Suzanne mentions guidance and what's really helpful is that we are part of something bigger than National Maternity Voices and that keeps us connected with the national guidance coming out and with colleagues across the country so it helps to learn about um, innovative approaches to addressing these concerns at, in these difficult times um, and we've learned a huge amount from being linked with with colleagues as chairs and uh, uh, allows us to share some of these good ideas, new ideas um, uh, with each other and with the health professionals um, within our own Maternity Voices Partnership. And as well as being part of a national team, we also collaborate across the southeast with the other MVP chairs um, and hospitals across the southeast. And we also have a Facebook group for the MVP chairs and a WhatsApp group between the four of us so that we can keep in touch regularly about local developments and how we might respond. Um, we know that the MVP itself might come across a, uh, as a bit of a formal committee, so we work with other local organisations to ensure we're in contact with those who might not find it as easy to engage with us directly. Um, you might see us at baby groups or community events. We're always keen to come to where our service users want to be heard. It's because of these invaluable connections that we're able to share feedback from a wide range of people using maternity services and we often share contacts with each other to ensure feedback is reaching all the relevant services in Sussex. For an example, we, um, we sit on the perinatal mental health work stream and um, hearing about what our service users needed at this time, we are trialling with West Sussex Family Assist, a worried but well Wednesdays where Western's counsellor is um, on call to answer any of your calls um, each Wednesday. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, we've been having weekly video conferences with the heads of midwifery at the three trusts with whom we are connected, as well as keeping in touch with those who head up the health visiting services. It also gives us a chance to see each other, the four of us, and discuss anything that's happening on within each of our individual areas. We've shared relevant service user feedback with them and sought answers to questions that you've asked. We've worked with them to ensure those answers are readily available, whether on our Facebook pages or the Trust's Facebook pages or social media. Um, a good example of where we've, we've pushed back on that locally is um, a decision was made 
at the beginning of the pandemic to, to stop, um, to, sorry, to limit birth partners during birth. One, one birth partner was decided, but when it came to cesarean section, initially no birth partners were, were asked to attend during the cesarean section birth or cesarean birth. We, we questioned this because the national guidance actually didn't state this. And as a, as a consequence, they reviewed their guidance and it's changed now that partners can be at most cesarean births. And one of the um, really useful things in working together, we found that we've been able to identify um, where there are inconsistencies or differences in the changes to services that trusts have had to make and to try and understand uh, why that might be. And every, every trust is different. One of the useful things was um, West and, and East Sussex um, suspended home births for a while and um, Brighton have managed to keep home births going uh, safely for their midwives and for the women who want them and the learnings from that and how Brighton have managed to do that would be really helpful in restarting home births in due course in Western Eastern Sussex. So that's, that's, you know, it is unprecedented times and it's hard to find um, safe ways to look after the uh, health and safety and well-being of women. But those, those considerations are all at the heart of what we uh, are trying to do and the decisions being made. We really appreciate the support that comes from working together across the Sussex local maternity systems. We have our own local priorities that reflect the needs of our local population. So at the beginning of the pandemic, I set up a Facebook group for new mums and pregnant mums in the Mid-Sussex area. And we have nearly 300 members on there who talk to each other so they don't feel quite so isolated or alone during this period. We're also um, working together to make sure that there, where there are any common features, we can come up with some innovative solutions. So as an example of that, we have worked closely with the young parents midwife at Brighton and Sussex University Hospitals NHS Trust to see if we can secure some transport for those women who need to get to hospital, either for antenatal appointments or to visit their baby in special care, where they don't have their own transport and they don't really want to use mm. public transport during this time. And we've come up with a partnership uh, with um, Bluebell Community Transport to ensure that these women can still attend the hospital appointments and um, see their midwives when they need to. If there's anything you want to know about your local maternity services during these uncertain times, please don't hesitate to take a look at our Facebook pages with a whole host of information and signposting. If we don't know the answers, we will certainly find somebody that does. Um, and simply pop us a Facebook message or send us an email. On behalf of the four of us, thank you for listening and please do get in touch.